hey what's going on you know who it is you know what it is all right you guys um i just wanted to make a quick video well, i ain't gonna say a quick video i just wanted to knock out a video about you know lebron james you know based on the fact lebron james has been the hottest story you know surrounding the nba offseason you know even though we a few months removed from the nba finals well we're a couple of months removed from the nba finals you know the warriors pretty much destroyed the cleveland cavaliers what they do best you know so with that being said we all know lebron james has taken his talents to los angeles but the question is what is lebron's real intentions in la is he there to try to win championships with the lakers or is he further trying to enhance his Hollywood career post-NBA and current NBA? Keep in mind, LeBron James has a lot of stuff coming out. He has his hand pretty thick in Hollywood. He's producing movies, documentaries. He has a uh, barbershop talk show coming out in a few days that will premiere on HBO. So he has that coming out. So he, he has his hand in everything. Then not to mention uh, the Space Jam 2 movie is still on the, on the table. Now it's just a question of who they want to star in the movie. You've heard Blake Griffin's name. You've heard Kevin Durant's name. You've heard LeBron James' name. And you've heard Stephen Curry's name on who should star in Space Jam 2, the long-awaited sequel to the 1996 hit movie starring, as you guys know, Michael Jordan and you just wonder did LeBron come to LA for more of the movie stuff than he did to win championships you know basically I'm going to go to LA and play at LA if I happen to win a championship you know then fine but I still have all these movie projects lined up all these TV shows lined up documentaries lined up Keep in mind, LeBron James uh, produced a show called Survivor Remorse with his uh, business partner, Maverick Carter. Good show. Real good show. LeBron James had a cameo appearance on the show. Um, unfortunately, the show uh, was taken off the air. Um, I thought the show ended prematurely, but, you know, hey, whatever. But it just makes you wonder. What is LeBron's true, true intentions in L.A.? Because if you look at the current Lakers roster now, they don't have a chance in hell against the Golden State Warriors in the playoffs. To be honest with you, this Lakers team can't beat the Rockets either in the seven-game series. That's fact. As far as the Western Conference go, is the Warriors the Rockets, and then it's everybody else. It will be either the Warriors or the Houston Rockets playing in the NBA Finals. And then on the East, more than likely, you have to pick the Boston Celtics. The Boston Celtics should be the prohibited favorite to come out of the, the East. But if you look at this Lakers roster, I know they saying that they trying to get all these people to come to Los Angeles. Well, Clay Thompson is saying he wants to retire Laker. Now, Kevin Durant, that's up for debate. But you have to wonder, Kevin Durant didn't have so much success against LeBron James in the finals. Why would he want to go play alongside him? Because as I said before, there's a lot of pros and cons playing with LeBron James. Why should Kevin Durant go play alongside LeBron James in Los Angeles and then he do help LeBron James win a championship but then they give LeBron James all the credit like I keep saying a lot of people don't like that so that's what I'm saying LeBron James signed a, a four year $154 million contract LeBron James by the time this contract is over he will be 38 38 39 by the time it's by the time it's over i mean excuse me yeah lebron james will be 34 
on December the 29th. So yeah, he'll be he'll be 38, 39 by the time this contract expires. And you have to ask yourself once again: Is LeBron gonna play the full four years? It's a lot of questions you have to ask. Do LeBron James want to play the full four years? Do LeBron James want to play till he's 38, 39, 40? Now, I will say this much. LeBron James, as I said before, as I stated, if he doesn't have another NBA ring, you know, attached to, you know, his uh, Hall of Fame resume, he does have a legitimate chance to become the all-time leading scorer. He has a more than legitimate chance to pull that off as I said before it can be done but it will be kind of tough like I said LeBron James if he plays 82 games a year and he averages at least 23 to 24 points a game he could do this it can be done but does LeBron James wants it so, yeah, I am questioning LeBron James' intentions in L.A. Because you do have to ask this stuff. Is LeBron in L.A. pretending he wants to win a ring? Or is LeBron in L.A. because he's basically trying to keep a hold on and be more hands-on with all his um, film and TV projects? That's a legitimate question. And no, this isn't a LeBron James bashing video because we already know how the LeBron James fans get mad oh, man what you want me to so just asking the question man i'm out